Yeah, so that was a mine site truck that just passed me. It is Saturday and normally they don't work on uh, weekends. And actually the um, Denison Environmental Management told me I could come into the sites on the weekends anyways. I'm not afraid of them or anything, but uh, he had to stay on the main road anyways. I'm off road here now. Um, but you see all those uh, snowmobile tracks down there? That is not mine site worker tracks. They wouldn't do that. Um, that's someone getting in here on their snowmobiles and riding around. I saw last weekend I came here, was it last weekend? I think it was last weekend I came here to do a hike. And man, the front, uh, the parking space at the front lot there was at the, before the gate was full of uh, vehicles with trailers on them which carry snowmobiles. And uh, I don't know if that's why they're coming in here on the weekends now, the Denison workers, they could be coming in to, uh, to kick those um, uh, snowmobiles out, although I've never seen them kick anyone out of the mine sites, but, you know, it could be why they're coming in here. Um, boy, that sun is so nice. <laughs> you, can't you can't even imagine how starved I am for sunshine. We have not seen that much this winter. In fact, we've seen snow most of the time, even if it's only light snow, you know, it's overcast, snowing and gloomy. But, uh, yeah, I'm moving down closer to uh, Strike Lake here now. I can even see the snowmobiles that have gone out on Strike Lake, which is not a good idea. Because they control the water levels in these, uh, that's a tailings lake, and they control the water level in these tailings lakes. And th those levels can go up and down, you know, which le would leave a, a gap between the um, ice and the water, you know. Not smart. Not very smart at all. And that's probably one of the reasons they don't want those kind of vehicles in here. Anyways, let's continue.